Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the flywheel on a Troy built TB130 lawnmower. We'll get started by removing the starter assembly from the top of the engine. Next, we'll remove the fuel tank. Before you remove the tank, you'll need to drain any gas that might still be in it. I've already done that, so now I'll disconnect the fuel line from the shutoff valve. With the fuel tank removed, now we have access to the flywheel. Next, I'll remove the flywheel. I'm going to use a screwdriver between the stud and the fan blades on the flywheel itself to keep the flywheel from rotating while we remove the nut. I'll use a ratchet and a socket to remove the nut. An impact driver works great here if you have one. Now that I have the nut loosened, I'm just going to unspin it from the spindle until the nut sits above the bolt or, or the top of the spindle. I don't want to completely remove the nut yet. The flywheel is held to the spindle with a pressed tapered fit. There's a couple ways you can remove it. The best way is with a flywheel puller, but I doubt many of you have one of those. I'm going to show you an alternative method. I'm going to use a large screwdriver, the same socket I used to loosen the bolt or the nut, and a shop mallet. I'm going to apply a little upward force with the screwdriver. I don't want to press real hard here. And at the same time, strike the top of the uh, socket. And that'll, that should pop that taper fit free. There it went. And now we can remove the flywheel. Now we can go ahead and install our new flywheel. You'll notice on the flywheel that there's a key slot, and that's for this woodruff key. I'll place the woodruff key in the slot on the shaft. Just tap that in place. And now I'll slide the flywheel back onto the spindle, lining it up with the key. And I'll secure the flywheel with the nut. With the new flywheel installed, now we need to make sure that the gap between the flywheel and the ignition coil is correct. And to do that, we'll use an ignition coil gapping tool. The thickness of this card is 0.014 of an inch. If you don't have one of these cards, you can usually use a business card, or maybe it'll take two of them to get to that proper thickness. So what I'm going to do is loosen the bolts that secure the ignition coil to the engine. Next, I'm going to rotate the flywheel around so that these magnets on the flywheel are in line with the ignition coil. And then I'll insert the gapping tool between the coil and the flywheel. Now I can go ahead and tighten up the bolts again with the gap properly set. And 
and I'll remove the gapping card. Now we can go ahead and replace the gas tank. And I'll resecure the fuel line to the fuel shutoff valve. And we'll finish up by reattaching the starter. And now you know how to replace the flywheel on your Troy built TB130 lawnmower. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.